Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Logan Power Show. It's me, your host, Calvin Logan, with another segment here at the Logan Power Show. I thank you all for watching us. Hey, take this time. Go to our website today, www.thelogenpowershow.us. You want to get connected with us. Hey, if you're interested in being a guest today, email us, thelogenpowershow at gmail.com. I'll call us at 843-697-5545. Well, we're bringing here the first time here at the Logan Power Show. It's the first time here with us. Um, she's excited. She sees she's smiling right now. We're smiling together. Uh, she's the one and only Miss Ashley, Ashley Gilliard from the one and only A. Gilliard Bookkeeping Services, LLC. How are you doing today? I am wonderful, Calvin. Thank you so much for having me and sharing this platform, you know, for me to explain exactly what my services are and why bookkeeping is so important for small business owners. So thanks for the introduction there. Absolutely. And we know this, right? Once you become fearless, life becomes limitless because in this game of bookkeeping, you got to be fearless to be able to trust somebody with your finances to make it accurate, annotate line by line, because your job is not easy. Um, and just to know how you got started, you got back started in 2017, 2018. Um, so tell us how you became in love with the, the level of math. You know, you, you're into this thing. Not everyone loves to be math. So what made you decide to get involved in this kind of business? Absolutely. So years ago, I started as a freshman at USC, the University of South Carolina, as a math major. I also shared a passion for fashion, which kind of took over at the time. So I obtained a, re a degree in retail management with a concentration in fashion merchandising. Um, after managing several retail stores and dealing with large sums of money, my first initial passion for math and accounting was reignited. So I furthered my education, obtained my master's in uh, business administration with a concentration on accounting. So I spent the next seven years of my life working as a corporate accountant in various industries from automotive, pharmaceutical to most recently commercial real estate. So during my time as a corporate accountant, I just remember several friends, past colleagues who had started their own business, um, which, you know, very successful, but they always had questions about their finances and, you know, the bookkeeping of their business and the accounting and just various tax questions. So things that, you know, a bookkeeper would answer. So it was those conversations for me. I realized like, hey, there is a need for this service, you know, amongst the community and small businesses. And also for me, I was a, a mom of a small child. So this was going to allow me to create my business where I would have the flexibility to spend more time with my son and also provide that needed service. So A Your Bookkeeping Services was born. And again, that was back in 2017. So fearful times, but, you know, it took the leap of faith. And then it was a side hustle for me. So still working in the corporate world. But like I said, I took the leap of faith, started this business. And then more, more recently, about two months ago, actually, I decided to leave my uh, full-time position and, you know, relaunch this business. So again, I am just so excited to be able to, to provide such an important service. So that was the reason why I started it. So now, currently, my clients include anywhere from nonprofit organization, retail store owners, and also attorneys. So I do enjoy the services there. Um, but just to kind of get into the details of what bookkeeping is and why it's so important. As a bookkeeper, I'm responsible for recording every single financial transaction that your business incurs. So if we're talking about invoices that you've made a payment on, um, the credit card charges that you may have, have swiped your business card on, if you decide to take your employees out for a meal, um, if you spent money on advertising and marketing, everything needs to be recorded. Any revenue that, that you've earned, which is awesome, those have to be recorded for accurate business financials. Um, so again, once all of the transactions are recorded, then 
it's important for the bookkeeper to produce specific reports that are going to allow you to understand the financial strengths and the weaknesses of your business. So three of the major reports that I like to focus on are going to be your balance sheet, the income statement, and the statement of cash flow. So all three are something that I produce for my clients on a monthly basis. So all are independent of one another, but they provide pertinent information that's going to allow you to make better business decisions. So starting with the balance sheet, this is going to be a snapshot of your company's assets, liabilities, and the equity. So the assets are the positive items for your business that add value, right? Your cash, the hand, if you own a business, the, or if you own a building, the, the physical building, this is an asset. If you're a retailer, you own inventory, those items are asset. They add value to the business. Um, minus your liabilities. The liabilities are funds that you may owe a particular lender. So we subtract your assets from your liabilities, and this is going to yield your equity. The equity tells that specific value of your business, which is important, is vital because you may want to increase your business. You may want to grow it. You might want to request a loan. So a lender wants to see that the value of this business to make sure that you're able to repay him or her. An investor, he may want to know, okay, this, this business, you're doing really well. I like the value of this. I think that, you know, this is a low risk, a low risk business. So yeah, I'll, I'll see a return on my investment. So the balance sheet shows, um, next, the income statement. The income statement businesses use um, to review their profit and loss. So this displays like the financial impact during a specific time. Um, this consists of all of your revenue that's come in minus your expenses and is going to yield your net profit. So you can review your income statement on a monthly basis to determine and analyze your profitability. Again, if you know how profitable you are and you know exactly where every penny is being spent, you're going to make, you're going to save money ultimately, right? If you think that you're overspending on meals, then you can analyze this report to cut back on meals and maybe re, or maybe spend that money and designate it to advertisement, right? Which again, will bring in more business, correct? And so the last report that I like to focus on is the statement of cash flow. So we all know cash is king. Without cash, we, we can't successfully operate a business, right? So we need to have cash and we, need, we should be able to show a positive cash flow. Cash or lack thereof is the number two reason why small businesses fail. So the cash statement is vital. This statement is going to show your inflow and outflow of cash on a monthly basis. So again, the three reports that I love to focus on that are most important, the balance sheet, the income statement, and your statement of cash flow. So after understanding exactly what bookkeeping is and why it's so important, I just like to go over the three benefits that I think are you, you get from having a bookkeeper. So firstly, an outsourced bookkeeper it's so much more affordable than hiring a full-time bookkeeper or an accountant. Guys, you can save up to ten dollars to $20,000 a, a year by outsourcing your bookkeeper. This person is going to provide the services of recording these transactions, so it frees up your time. You won't have to do it yourself. And also, you can just focus on your business and what is important to you. Ultimately, growth, right? <laughs> So the second benefit, I think, of bookkeeping is having organized financials. You're going to know the value of your business at every given moment down to the penny. Your bookkeeper is going to reconcile your bank statements, make sure that it ties with your accounting system. So again, you will be able to make smarter business decisions. You'll know where to allocate those funds properly. So lastly, the benefit of having a bookkeeper is tax liability. There are several uh, business owners, I think, that they're terrified of the IRS and they don't want to, you want to save as much money and not in, in mitigating those tax liabilities. 
So if you have a bookkeeper that are allocating all of your transactions and you're and categorizing your expenses correctly, then you may find more tax deductions. That saves you money, right? If you have this bookkeeper on hand and you're presenting accurate uh, and organized balance sheets and income statements to your tax preparer, as opposed to, here you go, here's a stack of receipts, you know, for them to organize, you're going to save them time, they're going to bill you less hours, and you could save hundreds to thousands of dollars for that process alone. So guys, there's no reason not to have a professional, savvy bookkeeper on your team. So I know that there are tons out there that may have a bookkeeping system in place, but you know, there's some financial confusion, there's some unorganization. Um, if, there, if any of you uh, don't have a bookkeeper and you, know, you don't have a, a system in place, you know, I am here to reach out to me. Like you said, my number, 843-606-0429. We don't understand the importance because the difference between having a bookkeeper ultimately can be the difference between a thriving business or one that fails. So I am here again. So reach out via email, Ashley at agarebookkeeping.com. Amen. Amen. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we want to thank Ms. Ashley Gilliard giving us a, a great summarization of what her business does provide. Um, let's give let's give you some real um, sort of a summary where we are uh, without the proper person just representing you financially, you know, dotting those I's, crossing those T's, that it size of your business either goes to the top or goes to the bottom. Um, these are the type of people you want into the fold. Um, you never, ever uh, negate people who have your best interest at heart. Remember, keep in mind, um, you know, when someone's you're paying someone to to make sure you stay on the flow and then yeah. she has the responsibility. Now, ain't your responsibility. Like, hey, I, my bookkeeper, I put in there. These are things you can put in the safe. Legally, she helps balance it. So if something is wrong, that falls on her. It doesn't then fall on you. You got to make sure by having the balance in the budget is what's going to make you have a successful business. So for those that are watching this, understand this, take this serious. Uh, this young lady here has a passion for math. Math is a universal language. Um, this is how we work. Uh, this is how we, we actually absorb the energy. Can you feel the energy? Can you feel her presence of what she gives? And she gives the kind of presence we need. So I tell you right now, give her an opportunity. Trust and believe your life will never be the same. The biggest thing I, can, the biggest thing I would tell you, um, how does your son feel about you in business? Uh, he loves it <laughs> just because I'm able to pick him up from school, you know, drop him off to school. It's just, it's been a wonderful transition. Blessings on, upon blessings for us. Um, and it's just been a long process because I've spent so much late hours at work and, you know, him having to do an after school program. So he gets to see mommy more. So it's amazing. <laughs> Got it. Final yeah. thing, if someone was watching this and telling them to fulfill their dream, what would you tell them? I tell them, go for it. You know, make sure that you're prepared, do your research and just trust in the Lord and go. I got my sign from Apostle Terrell Murphy out of the Charlotte area. Um, I will never forget the scripture, but he was like, you've been here long enough. It's time for you to take your, get on your journey and go. And I turned in my resignation the very next day. And since then, it's just been a wonderful process. So Amen. trust in Amen. yourself and believe. Trust in yourself and believe. Take yes. that for note, take that for heart. That's what we want to do. We want to trust God and he will get us through. Absolutely. Hey, that's all the time I got. My name is Calvin Logan Power Show Nationwide, Worldwide. We love you. We'll see you soon.